Hello, I'm Roger Bisbee from the Skill Builder channel and we've had a bit of a debate going on following our fencing post video about whether you should put timber in the ground or not. And most people say no, use concrete or something else. But a few people say, yeah, you can do it with preservatives. Well, a lot of the preservatives you get aren't really up to much these days because they've had to make them safe. They've got rid of the arsenic and they don't do the job that they used to do. So some people say coat the fence post, the bottom of the fence post in something like bitumen. That will help. And of course it can help, but it can also lock in the moisture. The other way of doing it, thousands of years old, is to char the wood. The Japanese used to do it, the Vikings used to do it. Charred wood basically kills anything organic on the outside of the timber and it means that the insects aren't interested and that the rock can't grow on it. So that's all you're looking to do is just char the outside of the wood and that forms a barrier for life. And believe it or not, there are timber buildings, hundreds and hundreds of years old, which are made with charred wood and they haven't even started to rot. So let's give it a go. And if you want to do planks, if you're putting up siding on a shed or something like that, and you just want to take ordinary untreated timber and turn it into preserved wood, you can see all the resin starting to come out, warm up. Or of course you can just do it the easy way. So that's it, that's the wood charring process, as simple as that. Just heat it up, burn the outside, and you're away with it. The only thing is if you're using preservative treated wood, then it's not a great idea to start burning that or heating that up. So if you can get yourself a nice bit of sawn wood, this is very, very cheap, this, because it's not used for much else. And if you can buy yourself posts like this, which haven't been treated, you're far better off as far as the burning process goes. But of course, then it does mean that you've got the top end to, to burn as well if you're gonna have that whole complete protection. Be interested to do it anyway. Workers are a hopeful lot. You get a job, you do it. Heavy work or weather have no say. You power through. Always.